Hi, I'm Ross Mitchell from Ability Software. Um, what you're about to see is a quick demonstration of the Ability Suite eForms with Workflow uh, tool. The eForms with Workflow tool is an award winning uh, piece of technology that's built on IBM's latest notes. What it allows you to do is build very simple uh, workflow applications without the need for programming, and so it ultimately does deliver on the promise of Lotus Notes, but without the high cost. What I'm going to do today is partially configure a, a leave application workflow, and then uh, provide for you to be able to download that application and play with it yourself from the URL that you see on your screen now. What that should do ultimately is, is I hope, demonstrate to you how simple it is to produce uh, workflows for your organisation. We're not talking about high-end complex forms here, we're talking about those sorts of simple things like returns, approvals that many organisations have and don't want to spend the money to develop. So anyway, have a look and see what you think. If you like what you see, download the, the example applications and finish configuring it. At the end of that, those applications are yours to keep. Hi, I'm uh, Matthew Bond, the IT Supervisor at Toyota Finance New Zealand. I've been Lotus Notes fans for a long time and we've been using the Ability Suite range of products for the last six years. Okay, so before you actually go onto the computer and model your uh, workflow in the Ability Suite eForms um, solution, a small amount of planning is necessary to make sure that you've got your form design and your workflow um, properly planned. So um, what we're going to do in this case is, is uh, model a simple leave request system and I've got our HR manager Tina to help me out with that here today. So Tina, what's the information that we want a person to fill out on the leave um, application form? We want to know what kind of leave they're applying for. Alright, type of leave. Yep. Uh, start date, end date. Yep. And who's going to approve it? Approve it. And then we want some space where people can put any other information that might be relevant. So just general details. So now that we've got a, a, the fields that we require or the information that we need on the leave request form, now we need to design the workflow that the form's going to go through. If someone was going to fill that out and walk it around the office, what would they do with that form? So Tina, someone fills out a leave request form, what do they do next? It needs to go to their manager. For approval. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what we're going to do is, a, a, is use a tool called a state diagram to model this workflow. Um, we'll start with a, a state called in draft that the user can fill out and save the, the form in, and then what they're going to do is send it to a state called for approval using an action called send for approval. And what this will do is send an email to the manager with a link to the document and they can use it from here. Presumably after that they can either uh, decline it or, or approve the leave request right. and notifications to appropriate staff yourself to let you know that that's gone on and back to the, the requester. Mm -hmm. So what you can see is the completed state diagram on your screen now. Uh, once you've got a form design and a state diagram then you're able to go into the system and without programming configure that um, form and that workflow and, and then use it for a while and, and modify it if necessary. Okay, so as we explained earlier, uh, what I'm going to do is create a Lotus Notes um, eForms with workflow uh, application using the Ability Suite tool. And um, I'm going to do this from scratch, creating a, a uh, Lotus Notes NSF from a template so you can see that it's not a cooking show. If you're a Lotus Notes um, administrator, you'll be able to um, understand what I'm doing. And I wanted to do it this way so that you could see that. Um, <coughs> It was simply a Lotus Notes template that we're using. So uh, the application we're going to create is a, a leave request application using the form that we've uh, we've looked at earlier. And so I've, I've uh, <coughs> set it off to create the NSF. And now we're in the, the leave application, but at this point we don't have a form and we don't have a life cycle in which that form can exist. So what I need to do is configure the workflow. So I'm just going to quit out of the, the application and go to the ACL so that I can give myself a couple of roles which give me the rights to configure the database. 
So having done that, I can go back into the application and what you see now is that we have an extra set of options for the configuration of the, um, the workflow. So I'm just going to go into a profile document initially to set up a couple of general, general parameters. Um, we're going to call it a leave request uh, system and we'll call the, the form a leave uh, request. And uh, there are a number of other options here that we can um, that we can use to make the, the application more complex, but in, in the first instance that's all we need. So the first thing we need to do is create the form that we looked at earlier. So I simply go into the fields and press create field and the first uh, field that we wanted was type of leaf and we'll make that a, a drop down. You notice here that what we have are the different types of, of, um, of field types that you would expect in the Lotus Notes database. So we'll make that annual and special um, and we'll make the default annual. The second field um, in our form definition was the start date of the leave, so we'll make that a date field and we'll default that to today's date. <coughs> the third field was the end date, and we won't put a default on that. You know, obviously, you know, you can build a number of different form types um, using this tool. I think the next one was approver. Um, and it's a very handy little tool for any number of different simple workflows. We're going to make this a name single and we'll make the selection from the name and address block. That source can actually come from manage lists which you set up as part of the configuration as well but um, to make it simple we'll just leave it as name and address block. And then finally we're going to add a rich text field just for some details. <coughs> and obviously with rich text fields as you would expect, you can put attachments and all the normal stuff that you would expect to be able to do with that.